Good day, friends. Recently, I've been staying updated with PBS Space Time's YouTube channel featuring astrophysicist Matt O'Dowd. And these videos are really interesting, posting a link in the, in the description, particularly about dark matter. It's really cool to keep track of. And a recent news story, guys, out of the San Grasso lab in Italy, which is 450 miles or 732 kilom kilometers from CERN outside Geneva, Switzerland. Okay, these two laboratories, San Grasso in the San Grasso mountains of Italy, absolutely beautiful, and CERN outside Geneva are both um, experimenting with dark matter detection. CERN, of course, is most known for the Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC, um, with the amazing discovery of the Higgs boson, which um, has to do with colliding atomic protons at the speed of light. That's CERN's claim to fame. However, they're also developing dark matter detection, whereas San Grasso, that really seems to be the focus. And there was a recent news story that on first reading for lay people like myself sounded like dark matter had been detected in the lab when that's actually not the case. What this article is about is about the xenon noble or inert gas, meaning that it's the xenon gas is very non-reactive, not radioactive. It's a very bright gas and it's actually used in lighting applications. It glows basically. And 1,500 meters below the Earth, guys, in the San Grasso laboratory, the um, scientists have this liquid xenon at extremely cold temperatures in a cryostat. That's what keeps the temperatures so low, a refrigerated cryostat. And so what the article is about in phys... In uh, phys.org, really cool uh, website. The half-life uh, breakdown of the xenon gas has been observed in the cryostat, meaning that two electrons, apparently, um, in order to observe this, two electrons must be displaced from the xenon atom and when that is observed, a flash of light occurs, and that's been observed. So the half-life, guys, of xenon, which is on the order of magnitude, like trillions of times older than our actual cosmos, which is pretty weird that they've observed this in a laboratory, that a gas which has a half-life of like so many trillion years has actually been observed. It's an exciting discovery that the oldest known event in the, the universe, or perhaps even preceding the universe, since these things decay as a half-life of trillions of years, has been observed in a laboratory 1,500 meters below the Earth in San Grasso, Italy. Not that dark matter has been detected, per se. However, going down this interesting rabbit hole of dark matter study um, lends to learning a lot more about it. If you've got comments on this subject, please post them below. I'd appreciate following any cool links that lend insight into this fascinating topic, as dark matter accounts for so much more in the universe than any visible matter. And indeed, our Milky Way galaxy is just loaded with dark matter. Actually, the center of our um, galaxy is a huge black hole. I believe it's called Sagittarius A. 
Also, there's been some galaxies discovered recently that apparently don't have dark matter. That's what spe uh, PBS Space Time, the recent video is about. So that's kind of cool to check out. And the different theories as far as uh, baryons and different laws of gravity, as it were, that maybe don't apply. Thanks for tuning in today, guys.